Hi, I'm Krista Smith. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival. In Squinton, you know, obviously, you know, self-educated mm -hmm. in film. And, you know, it's like, it's weird. You'd be talking to him and he'd mention some reference of, you know, an Italian soap opera from 1967 or something. And you're like, yeah, okay. But I did catch him out on, uh, on a little bit of trivia, um, film trivia. I believe I caught him out on two things. Well, it was one or the other, maybe, but the, the, the names of the dogs in Magnum P.I., do you remember? Oh, Magnum, oh my God, the, the, the two the, Doberman. the Dobermans, yeah. oh. That's, I, that's I, one, and the other one is, <laughs> is uh, Croc, Crockett's Crocodile Croc in Miami Vice. Oh, yeah. But the two dogs' names, you want to Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> Please tell us what the names are now. You get anybody, anybody know? Anybody in the room? You could no. offer up anything? No. It's Apollo and Zeus. Apollo and Zeus, yeah. right. That's and the good. crocodile. Zeus, I kind of, yeah. I yeah. used to love that show. It's a great show. Great soundtrack. Higgins. Higgins. Tom Selleck, yeah. classic. And his OP shorts. And yeah. That. How many men could pull that off? <laughs> None, by the way. <laughs> and when you look back on it, you can't believe that he, that he did. Yeah. Um, and Crockett's Crocodile was Elvis. Oh, that's so funny. Mm. It's good. Favorite Western? Oh, God, you're going to kill me. Well, The Wild Bunch. I love The that's Wild Bunch. That's a good Bunch. one. Nice. Um, one of my favorites. Absolutely. Uh, the High Noon, another Excellent. great yes. one that I love as well. Was it, um, was it John Wayne that said High Noon was anti-American? Which one was that? Oh, you know, I don't know, but he Maybe was very, Maybe it wasn't High Noon, very... it was another Western. Is it High Noon where all the locals turn their back on the show? Yeah, it's, it's yes, scary. he said that was yeah. a very anti-American right, thing, and but that wouldn't happen. Right, he has to come back. 310 yes. to Yuma. Excellent. 310 to Yuma was good. Um, what about the outlaw Josie Wales? Well, well, any of the Eastwood movies that yeah, he did in that. I know. But I feel like that's a that's a subgenre because that's like the spaghetti western that had Once a whole a time thing. in the West. Yes, that was just on. Yeah. I made my two little kids watch that. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it was on. I was like, oh, guys, look, this is what Indians and cowboys and they're five and seven, so they watched that. Jimmy Stewart, they were watching it. And they're like, well, what happened? And it was a little over their head, but it's yeah. kind of insane when you see that. All right, we got to go. We got to go. Yeah, go you, you have stuff to do. Okay. <laughs>